What's going on guys, Ozio here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new Moments Lewandowski card to review. A card that is a 99 overall with insane stats. He has got 97 pace with 98 dribbling, 99 shooting, 90 passing and 98 physicals. He is a 6 foot 1 player with high low work rates, 4 star skill moves and a 5 star weak foot i am definitely disappointed they didn't give him that five star skill move upgrade but it is what it is we move that five star weak foot is something he already had by the way because of his team of the season card now the chem style engine engine is what i've decided to go for i feel like engine is the way to go as well i feel like it's just like perfect for this card because you don't need to upgrade the shooting you don't need to touch the physicals either so you might as well just max out his pace max out his dribbling stats as well and also increase his passing stats a nice amount so the pace 99 acceleration 99 sprint speed you can't get better the shooting stats look unreal the only stat that isn't 99 is the long shot being at 97 and keep in mind he has got a five star weak foot with both shooting traits as well he's got the finesse shot trait and the outside foot shot trait the passing ability for a striker looks top tier the dribbling ability it's maxed out. You can't get better. Every single stat is 99. The only thing that would have took his dribbling to a whole new level is the five-star skill moves. His physicals as well, 99 jumping, 99 heading accuracy. Keep in mind, he is a six foot one player, so the heading ability is going to be insane. Has he got a power header trait? I didn't see. No, he has not got a power header trait. He's also got 95 stamina with 99 strength and 97 aggression. That kind of strength in the striker position is going to be beautiful to work with because you know you can just back into defenders. You can hold them off for as long as you want, taking your time and deciding what you want to go ahead and do next. So yeah, the 99 strength is something I'm personally going to enjoy. Now the links, Barcelona. You guys already know Barcelona. Yeah, links are top tier. Nationality wise, it isn't obviously no French nationality. It isn't no uh, English nationality or even Portuguese nationality. Poland isn't crazy for links in this game. But as I said, Barcelona is top tier. You can get a nice little strong link with Dembele. And I've also got him weakly, weak linking to uh, Tony Cruz as well. Now positions, I will be playing Lewandowski in one position and one position only, and it will be that striker position. So let's get into the games and let's see how good Moments Lewandowski is going to be. That's a good run down the line from Lewandowski. Let's see if we can try to use maybe that pace to get around a the corner. There you go. Go for a quick ball roll, a few step overs to get into the inside there. Let's go for that simple pass into Salah. Salah never, ever is gonna miss there but Lewandowski's pace down the line there seemed very good he didn't feel too crazy on the ball I must admit there was a touch when trying to go around that corner that didn't look comfortable but we did make it work with the step over let's go for a through water into Saint Saint please touch that ball before him there you go perfect Lewandowski readjust his movement there go on no, I was just trusting in that five-star weak foot. I do like how he was holding off Virgil van Dijk for like a split second there as well. And that run he made is insane. Let's go near post. Lewandowski, come on, man. Get your head to this. Go on, get in front of him, please. There you go. No, come on, Varane. No way. Salah, please. There you go. We eventually get it. That is so unlucky because Cancelo was, was like at the near post. So I was so confident Lewandowski was going to win that. It's just... Yeah, it didn't go in. It eventually went in, though. What a run from Dembele. There you go. Is he going to push with Virgil van Dijk? He doesn't. I'm going to go for that driven into Lewandowski. What a turn. Good use of strength as well. And look at that for a finish. That's something I'm expecting from Lewandowski. That amazing shooting ability. He hits crossbar down. The keeper has no chance of saving it. Let's go for a ball roll there. Driven into Lewandowski. And oh, okay. I was about to say he's not going to miss that. But he ends up smacking a crossbar. I didn't even bother timing. I just believed in his shooting ability there. And it looks like I might have put a little bit too much power. Let's go for a through ball there. Go on, Lewandowski. Get around him. There you go. Just continue to use his pace to get around. Go on. Keep it going. Look at his strength. He even gets in front of Mateus as well and Allison pulls off a nice save I thought he was gonna bounce to Lewandowski right at the end there because it did it did like hit him at the back is he gonna bring out the keeper he hasn't Lewandowski go on near post again oh please this is perfect no way who is he lost the header to like he kind of won it was like a 50 50 right but I'm not sure who he's lost it to I feel like he was gonna get that cleanly 
That's a good run down the line, Cancelo. Look at Lewandowski. He's came from the other striker position just to give me this passing option. Let's go for it early. Why not? No, I haven't green timed it. It doesn't matter. Though. It does not matter. It still flew right into the corner. I'm noticing his movement. His movement is different to his team of the season and team of the year. And that is because of his high-low work rates. He's running everywhere. I need to pass this back. There's so many players behind the ball. But look at Lewandowski just sitting there waiting for it. Hold on. I'm trying to like use his strength. Oh, my. that's Jammy. He saved that? Really? Schmeichel saves that. I was just using his strength there. The thing is, right, because he ain't got five-star skill moves, it's not like I can pull out a reverse Elastico or like a Migiri spin cancel. I have to try to keep it a little bit more simple. Go on, Salah, accelerate into that space. There you go. Lewandowski sitting there waiting for the ball as well. Let's go for a ball roll to get away from him. His dribbling definitely is nice. He keeps the ball very close to his feet. That's something I am definitely noticing. It's just he's not like crazy quick with the turns. That is something I'm also noticing. He has not brushed Michael last time he did. Go on, Lewandowski. This is your opportunity in front of Chiellini as well. We all know Chiellini ain't a player you can win a header over very easily. So the fact that he's won it over Chiellini is insane. Salah, hold him off. There you go. Using a bit of strength there with Salah. Lewandowski, once again, just sitting there waiting for the ball. I'm going near post here. Yeah, this is what I mean, right? Like, not every shot has flew in, but this is FIFA 22. We all know shooting in this game is not like the most consistent thing. It doesn't go in every single time with like 99 CR7. So you're going to get a few misses every now and again. But that finish right there is crazy. We got another corner here. Is he going to bring him out? He does bring him out this time. Should we go back stick? I don't think he's going to full commit Schmeichel back stick here. Wait, is that Roberto Carlos? It is. Lewandowski should easily win this. Yeah, there's no... I was about to say, there's no chance that goes in, though. That's a good run up top. Cancelo, keep it going. There you go. Lewandowski plays a very good pass. I like the fact that he can do those kind of passes. You know, I don't have to keep it simple with him. And I tried to see if he could win the header over that player there. But he was behind him. So, yeah, it's understandable why he lost it. Let's chip that over. There you go. That's perfect. He should be easily holding off Roberto Carlos. Just keep it going. Using that shielding ability. All right, that. Bubba spin. Extra pass. Extra pass across. No, Salah's just like backing away. He's not giving me that passing option. But that shielding ability with Lewandowski there was very nice. And I just end up yellow timing it. And yeah, it's a goal kick. For the middle there. There you go. That's perfect. Carl Walker. Quick ball roll scoop of Salah. Nice driven pass into Lewandowski. Keep it going. Near post. No way. Roberto Carlos ends up getting there. Well, once again, the movement. Insane. He's like, he's noticing every little gap. That he needs to run into. Lewandowski go for the outside there. There you go. Nice through ball for Mendy as well. Just keep it going. We got the pace to get in front of Roberto Carlos. But Carlos somehow squeezes his way in front there. I thought Lewandowski was going to use his strength as well. So he could just hold off, hold off Carlos while shooting. But it looks like Carlos went under his arm. I'm going to try to go for a tactic here. If I try to hit it on the edge of the box here and use Lewandowski's strength. I could probably hold off R9. There you go. Now I can give it back to him. A few step overs in front of Bale. And I thought he was going to use his outside foot there. He should have used his outside foot. I feel like that's a good angle for it. And if he did, it probably could, would have gone more into like the side netting than directly at the keeper. Give that a cross into Mendy before we end up losing that. Always oh, pushed out with the centre back. And yeah, that's never going to end well. It was like... I don't know, it was a weird, def a weird defending decision, let's say. Pushing out the defender like that, leaving Lewandowski that open inside your box. It's never going to end well. I'm looking for a pass into the striker. There you go, Lewandowski. Hold him off. Referee. No shot. No shot. There is no way that is not a penalty. I am so triggered that Lewandowski stayed on his feet. Like, what's the point of staying on the feet there? You might as well just drop to the ground and get the penalty. Lewandowski's in. And that's a good through ball from Dembele as well. Go and get ahead of Chiellini. Beautiful. Back stick. Okay. That is obviously not the person I wanted it to, but it worked. Great pace from Lewandowski. And the fact that he can get around Chiellini that easily is surprising. Can I squeeze it through there? Yes, I can. Lewandowski, I'm looking for you in the middle there. That's a good through ball. Tried to shield off Chiellini here. Look at that. Look. No, he's moved the keeper. He's moved the keeper. I think that would have gone in if he didn't move the keeper. But yeah, the shielding on Lewandowski is crazy good. You can just see how he just twisted round Chiellini there. 
That's a good run from Salah. See if I can maybe get it around the corner to Lewandowski. A touch before the keeper. Please. Near post. No, I should have shot a cross goal. I should have shot a cross. That movement, though, I'm telling you guys, his movement is so much better than his team of the season slash team of the year. Like, his team of the season slash team of the year's movement was definitely good, but it's not. it wasn't this good. Like, he's finding every single gap. He's giving me passing options. He's moved the keeper again. I need to keep an eye on that because this guy's moving a keeper like there's no tomorrow. He's going to run in behind there. He kind of is. He's trying to, but he's like trying to give me a passing option as well. This is such a tough angle. And somehow it's gone in. How has that gone in? That went like top netting, but the keeper animation is all over the place. Let me try to accelerate into this space. There you go. That's perfect. Extra pass into the inside to Lewandowski. Shielding off everyone. Nice turn as well. No, I just couldn't get that shot off, man. There's so many blocks in this game. It feels like we have to go through so many players. Look at this. We have to go through so many players just to get a shot off. Play that extra pass. Cruz, no way. He took an extra touch there as well. That went right through the legs. Can I get a finish? Just using that shielding ability. Once again, I've done it plenty of times. You guys, you guys can clearly see how good it is as well. And he slots it towards the near post. So it is time to give my final thoughts on a card. We ended up playing five games of Lewandowski. And we scored eight goals in those five games. And we also came out with two assists as well. You guys saw what he was doing to my opponents. You guys saw that strength plenty of times. But the first thing I want to speak about is the pace. The pace on this card is incredible. You guys saw what he was doing to players like Chiellini, just easily getting around him. And that's something I really didn't expect because you guys know how fast Chiellini is in this game. So the fact that Lewandowski was easily getting past him was really, really surprising to see, but really enjoyable to see as well. You guys also saw the movement. The movement is incredible on this card. He's always moving to give you a passing option. He knows where the gaps are. He knows when to make the run. He knows when to come short as well. With his team of the season, slash team of the year, because it's got high medium work rates, there definitely was time that he missed out on a few runs that he could have made because he's trying to come short. With this Lewandowski card, that is not the case. Yeah, the pace, loved it. Shooting ability. He didn't finish every single chance, but I was not expecting that. Even with a player that's got 99 finishing and 99 shot power, you are going to miss chances time to time. It's just how it is in FIFA 22. But you guys saw some beautiful finishes today towards a near post crossbar down. There were some insane finishes today. See, so yeah, the shooting ability, I was really happy with it. Passing ability, incredible. The fact that you don't have to uh, keep it simple with him is very, very nice to see because you can just pick up the ball in the midfield, turn and just switch it and it's going to land perfectly onto the player see the passing ability loved it as well dribbling ability there definitely was a few turns that didn't feel smooth but there definitely was other situations that he was under pressure that the ball was just sticking to his feet and he was going for some very quick turns so yeah you definitely do notice a few touches in there that don't feel comfortable let's say but in most in most cases the dribbling is definitely top tier it's just it definitely is diff like disappointing to see that he hasn't got five star skill moves like i keep saying it throughout the whole review is just I know if this card had five-star skill moves, you could do so much more. Like the Migiri spin cancel, I can just tell would have been incredible on him. And like the reverse Elastico, the normal Elastico would have been insane on him as well. It's disappointing to see, but it is what it is. The physicals. 99 strength. You guys saw that. 99 jumping as well. We did score a header towards the near post against Chiellini. I'm quite surprised he outheaded Chiellini because... Chiellini's not that kind of player to get outheaded. He usually wins it like every time. So Lewandowski getting in front of him and just hitting it towards that near post and scoring it would surprise me in a way, but surprise me in like a, a happy way, let's say. So yeah, the jumping, heading ability, top tier, strength, incredible as well. Price of this card. Now, Footbin hasn't got the exact... Oh no, they do now. 280k. 280k for this card. It's worth it. I believe that is very nice pricing. Now, where does he go? In the attacker's tier list. This is the thing, right? If I put this card in the S tier, that's me saying he's on the same level as someone like Dembele. Saying he's on the same level as someone like Saint Maximum. I'm saying he's on the same level as someone like Salah. You know, me saying he's on the same level as Neymar's not here, but Neymar as well. Nah, Levin, this Lewandowski card is not on the same level as the players I have just mentioned. So it doesn't make sense to put this Lewandowski card in the S tier. I think he deserves to go into the A plus tier. Well, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.